Hello, all of my ons. It's Sinu here with some more daylight. And I'm excited to continue this game. I've been enjoying the story so far. Last night, at approximately 7 p.m., the power went off to this section of the facility. Due to the unfortunate timing, we were unable to transfer a critical patient to the emergency department, and he passed away in transit in the hallway behind the records room security door. To avoid this type of tragedy in the future, the hospital has decided that non-maintenance staff should be aware that the security door will not operate when the power is out. You must reset the breaker before using the door. Please familiarize yourself with the power switch's location within the records room sacks management. Okay. I hope I didn't read these last time, but if I did, sorry guys, I've got to read them again to know what's going on. All employees, we understand that it's difficult to make it outside on your 10 minute breaks, however, just because the record room is large. Alright, I remember this, talking about the smoking, nice. Alright, so, now that we've got all that out of the way, I think we're done with this room. Hopefully there aren't flares that we're able to find in here that I'm missing, but I'm going to continue. Because I've been having problems with this game lately. Glitches coming up, not being able to properly record, blah blah blah. Right now it seems to be working better than it was before, so hopefully this means everything is going to be good. What the hell was that? Freaking monkeys in the building or something? Uh, May 1st, 1940, concerning Miss Daniels' suicide. Miss Daniels was found dead in her staff quarters this morning. There was a suicide note indicating that she was extremely unhappy at work and in her personal life. Personnel on site state that she died from rapid blood loss caused by self-inflicted lacerations on her wrists. Her body was found sitting in a wheelchair. Pending a police un investigation, Miss Daniels' body was transported to the morgue. This is eerily similar to the other instances. Oh god. And this is some interesting music playing. Is this the same music from last time? It sounds different. Ghosts from the Past, November 12, 1967. Mid Island Hospital was one of the most locally influential and medically profound places in our city's history, yet few people know how important its presence has been. From treating smallpox in the 1850s to contributing to tuberculosis research in more recent years, the hospital has done much to benefit the citizens of New Kipling. Even its brief, if failed, attempt at reopening as a penitentiary helped to keep our citizens safe. Nice. Nice. So I read reviews about the game and stuff, and it seems though people were saying it's a good game, but because of the random generation, it can cause problems. Like, you can get an impossible generation. You can get really easy generations. So I guess we're gonna see, hopefully everything goes smoothly. Kipling citizens accused. Crimes. 16 year old girl allowed to live amidst guilt is condemned to hang evil hospital open to deal with spread of disease. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> what are you- Okay, I can't move right now. Yeah, I'd probably be- I can't do anything. Okay. Thank you. Jesus. I don't know, man. What ails you? Jesus. I don't know why that startled me. It, it was obvious because they stopped me before it happened, but still. Patient 90D. While on nightly rounds, Nurse Moriarty noticed patient 90D standing in his room in an agitated state. The nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh protecting the glass. She screamed for help, and by the time we arrived, the patient's face was completely covered in blood and he was raving about faces in the dark. The patient was quickly subdued and taken to the infirmary, where the attending physician reported he will likely lose both eyes. The patient did not seem bothered by this, recommending transfer to Dr. Mercer's care. Jesus. Alright, my main concern will be if I get bad generations, and I keep having to restart like the same levels, that would really be bad. So, if I get bad generations, but I don't die and I'm able to keep on moving, then it'll be just fine. How am I... okay. Or not. The hell is that light? Was that on before? I'm probably just crazy. This doesn't seem to be working yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm crazy. Don't worry about it, guys. I'm crazy. Oh, G for glow sticks, right? I lied. It's not G. How the hell do I get my glow sticks out? Oh my god, I should have... I, what What am I doing? Oh god, I'm sorry guys. I should have looked at the, uh... How to play before I continue playing again. Where are my glow sticks? No joke, where the hell are they? I'm hitting every button now. My glow sticks are... Oh, okay, one. Of course it's gonna be the numbers. I'm an idiot. 
Alright. Glow stick, oh glow stick. Tell me Pick that back up. Oh my god. It's okay, I can go back for more. Glow stick, oh glow stick, tell me the way. What is this? I guess it must be somewhere over here I missed. Yeah, I can come up. I'm an idiot. Why didn't I come over here before? I just turned around. March 27th, 1931, patient 90D, psychiatric ward report. Patients have taken their pills and are all settled in after evening meals. Dyer refuses to check on patient 90D after the incident. He spat blood all over her and yelled some gibberish about casting a spell. Today is my first day observing patient 90D. He seemed high strung and ready to snap, except towards Patrice. She is oddly special to him. Why is Patrice special to him, hmm? Some- Oh no! Oh my god, I hate this game. I really hate this game. Whoa. What? I just freaking chucked my glow stick. Okay. I didn't know I could do that. But yeah, so uh, one of the glitches I've been having in this game is that I will just start walking to the left without stopping. Nothing I do stops it. We're just gonna live with it, you know? Screw it. I've already restarted the game like five times already. Alright, so space, climb, thank you. Oh my god, I'm gonna freaking fall off of this object because I'm walking to the left constantly. Did I, did I do th Oh god. Okay, don't worry guys. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything... What am I trying to do anyway? Like, Should I push this? Yes, push it! That's what we're supposed to do. Alright, I figured it out. No worries. Ghosts are coming for my soul. Worry about that, but everything else, no worries. Alright, uh, we got this, we got this. I combat the left walking by holding down right. Oh! What happened? Oh! No, bad things. Floating objects. Scary people. Oh, thank you. You're an awesome guy, Professor. You're an awesome guy. I'll remember you when I go Halloween Horror Nights. And I need someone to make me feel better. Yep, you're the guy. You're the guy, Professor. Here the guy. Where am I going now? Alright, we're gonna push this. PUSH! You almost can't even tell that I'm- Come on. You almost can't even tell that I'm walking to the left. Unless you're me playing it and freaking walking to the left constantly. Just get up. Don't worry about it. I'm not walking to the left. What are you talking about? Oh, now this is just isn't even cool. How am I gonna do this while walking to the left? Uh, mm, I got it. I got it. I'm the best at fighting walking to the left. Right? No, 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 shh, shh. I'm falling. Okay, just, just go off. No, no hesitation. Just jump off. All right. All about that left walking. All about that left walking. Do I have a save point? Where's my glow stick bag? Thank you. Open the door. I can't. I don't like these sounds. Flip the switch. Nice. Nice. Don't worry. The bad. Hell yes, saving content. That's what I'm talking about. That is awesome. Let's just keep going. I don't care that I'm walking to the left. Walk to the left for days. Am I back in the same place again? Look, I don't even have to press a button. It'll walk for me. Alright, let's go and pull out a glow stick. I forgot about just randomly searching things. Let flares fend off the shadows. Press 2 to use your lit flare. What are those sounds? Oh dear god. Whoa! What was that? Freaking moving things? I know your game. Maybe it's the ghost that's making me walk left, right guys? The game's not glitched. It's supposed to be this way! I'd have four flares now, so... We're set there. If I see anything that wants to kill me, we know what to do. Do you? Oh, George! There's something going on down in the boiler room. I keep hearing things moving around there, down there, like I'm cleaning. And I swear it ain't rats. It's something bigger. I don't know what yet, but keep an eye out when you're down there. Adam. Adam should use a throat lodge 
Patient 27C suffers from an obsession with mazes. Compulsive behavior has driven him to draw mazes all over his cell. Having run out of space, Patient turned on himself, carving an elaborate maze pattern into his own flesh. Completely enveloping his chest, parts of his back, forearms, and upper arms, and upper thighs, and even parts of the buttocks and genitals. Patient restrained via a straitjacket and placed in solitary confinement. Alright, bro. Alright. That's creepy, dude. You got something for me? Homie? Got something for me, homie? Homie, you got something for me? You ain't no phony homie if you got something for me, right? Bowser? Bowser? Dude, what the hell's going on right now? That's not- that's- that's just some light, right? Nothing bad? Yay. Read it- oh my god, my threat level just went up just by reading this note. Dr. Mercer. Nurse Foster has complained that orderly William Farish disappears for hours at a time during shifts, and when he finally shows up, his hands and the knees of his pants are as dirty as though he's been out digging in the dirt. When she asks him about it, he seems confused and asks where he can bathe. This is the fourth complaint in two weeks about Farish, and I thought the matter should be escalated to you, Percy. I can make sounds too, you know. Uh, this is getting creepy. Read this. Read this. Read it! Oh my god, there we go. Adam. I think I saw that thing you were talking about the other day. I don't know what the hell it is, but it ain't a person. I just, just stared at me and it then disappeared when I shone my light on it. At least says I was seeing shadows, but I know what I saw. Something's not right down there. I'm putting in a transfer request, George. Dang, George, chill. It's just freaking shadows, you know? Stop drinking that... Freaking fire water during work, you know? Yeah. This is creepy. Nothing else down here, just that note. What? What? Freaking gasping like crazy. <gasps> I mean, come on. You can't kill yourself breathing like that. It's like the same room again. So many flares, man. So many flares. Date, March 4th, 1988, patient 13. I fear that with the upcoming closure of the hospital, we will be unable to find a home for herself, for her else, for her ourselves. It's sad that a life brought into this world under search, such violence, man, what happened to my talk? Will now become a ward of the state. She will undoubtedly be bounced between institutions. Is that me? Are they talking about me? I'm famous. Man, I've got that half threat. Oh god, dude. Oh god. Alright, so I found the room that I'm gonna get the item as soon as I get the last room in. I only need one more. I'm so close, man. I'm so close. It's so dark in here. Alright, come on, one more. I don't know what it is, man. I think it's I think it's the gateway. Why are you breathing like that? It's the gateway. Gateways are good, not bad, right? What's this? I'm getting nervous now. This doesn't feel good. Where the hell is my last memento? Remnant, whatever it's called. Dude, I'm running in circles now. Alright, uh, so this is where we get... What the hell? Oh, I lost my, uh, okay. Whoa. Nice! History of New Kipling. The village of New Kipling. Oh my god, that threat. It's okay, I've got four flares. The history of New Kipling. The village of New Kipling traced its roots in the mid 1600s. The rich fishing source, along with easy access to trade routes, drew early sailors to the village. Alright. Yeah, who cares that I'm walking to the left, guys? Look at this. I'm destroying. I just have to remember to hit two if I'm about to die. Alright, time to go back to where the sigil was. And then we'll come to this room that I'm hopefully about to pass. It has the end. There it is. There's the end on the right. We just go to the left right here. What the hell is that? Not a ghost, right? Not a ghost. Yep, it's a ghost. But you don't have to worry about that. Alright, we got sigil here. We got the end right over there. I got this. I got this. 
My finger is on two in case I need to press it. We got this, we got this, we got this. Uh, just run. Whoa, okay. Forgot. Oh god. Alright. Stop stopping and run. Oh my god, what the hell is that? I don't like it, man. I don't like it, man. I don't like it, man. I'm so... I used it. Can't switch items while I'm in the sigil. We made it. We made it. Oh god, dude. Go through! I don't like this. It says loading, but not saving. I swear to god, you better have saved the game. I'm gonna freaking hunt you down if you... Why is it still loading? Who's Sarah? Am I Sarah? I think I'm Sarah. At least my threat's zero. I'm still... Okay, there we go. Saving content. Thank you, god. <sighs> we made it. Still walking left, but I don't care. I'm gonna beat the game walking left. Freaking people do it all the time. Didn't even make sense. Prisoner 85 has been under my direct observation for the past week. No change in temperament. He seems to have con- Okay, that was me, uh, shaking my hand and hitting my keyboard. He seems to have contracted some sort of virus, ca causing a fever and incoherent ranting. He is currently receiving treatment by the nurses. I'll reevaluate his condition after the study has been completed. Nice, nice. Man. I think I might be close to the end of this game, I'm not gonna lie. Dr. Mercer, the maintenance staff has finished the modifications to your office that you asked for. Also, per your request, I've made sure that to let cert I've made sure to only let certain staff work on small parts of the larger project. Your new desk should be fully functional now. Judy. Thanks, Judy. It's all about my new desk. What is that light? Alright, let's do this. Anything back here that I missed?